Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video, you should be able to discover how kidney failure can be treated with a kidney transplant. You should then be able to compare the advantages and disadvantages of a kidney transplant compared to kidney dialysis. In a recent video, we looked at kidney failure. Remember that during kidney failure, the kidneys are no longer capable of effectively filtering the blood. We can treat kidney failure by hemodialysis, and we looked at that in the last video. As we saw, a patient who is treated by hemodialysis is connected to a dialysis machine. Hemodialysis takes several hours and is carried out three times a week, so hemodialysis has a major impact on the patient's normal routine. And long-term hemodialysis can also have side effects. A better long-term treatment for kidney failure is a kidney transplant. I'm showing you here a human kidney about to be transplanted into a patient. During a kidney transplant, the patient receives one healthy kidney. That's because one kidney is sufficient to carry out the functions needed by the patient. The transplanted kidney is connected to the patient's circulatory system. The ureter of the kidney is then connected to the patient's bladder. And notice that the failed kidneys are normally left in place. Now, if a kidney transplant is successful, then the transplanted kidney can function effectively for a number of years. And this means that the patient can lead a relatively normal life. However, there is one issue with kidney transplants, and that is the risk of rejection. All human cells are covered with a range of molecules. Scientists call these antigens, and we looked at antigens in the topic on the immune system. Your immune system is trained to recognize your antigens as self. In other words, your immune system does not normally trigger an immune response against your antigens. However, a patient's immune system will recognize the antigens on a transplanted kidney as foreign. The patient's immune system will then target the transplanted kidney, and this will lead to the transplanted kidney being rejected. Now, one way to reduce the chance of rejection is to match the tissue type of the donor and the recipient. For example, if the donor has the same blood group as the recipient. In this case, the antigens on the donated kidney will be similar to those on the patient. Also, kidney transplant patients are given drugs to suppress their immune system. These are called immunosuppressant drugs. Immunosuppressant drugs reduce the chances of a donated kidney being rejected. However, they can reduce the ability of a patient to fight an infection. Immunosuppressant drugs need to be taken for the whole time that the patient has a donated kidney. However, even with immunosuppressant drugs, most donated kidneys will eventually stop working. At that stage, the patient will return to dialysis until they receive another donated kidney. Now, a kidney transplant is cheaper than long-term dialysis. A kidney transplant also allows a patient to lead a relatively normal life. For example, a patient with a transplanted kidney can eat and drink normally, compared to a patient on dialysis. However, there are not enough donated kidneys to meet the needs of patients. In the United Kingdom, organ transplantation operates on an opt-out system. If a person does not want to be considered for organ donation after they die, then they need to opt out. However, in many cases, patients receive a donated kidney from a living donor. As I stated earlier, one kidney is sufficient for normal function, so many healthy people choose to donate one of their kidneys to a person in need of a transplant. Okay, so hopefully now you can discover how kidney failure can be treated by kidney transplant.